Hello and welcome everyone to this screencast showing you the new Nosby 2.0. In this video I will show you the basics of new Nosby. This is the login screen that you will see when you sign up for a Nosby account. And as you can see we have created a sample project for you called Inbox. It's over here. And because I have a project to do, I have to prepare a birthday party for my daughter, I'm going to create a new project right away. So let's click on the new project button. Type the name of the project. So birthday party. I can add optional information like product description or labels, but let's forget about that. I just want to create the project and start getting things done right away. I'll just hit, hit enter. And as you can see, the project has been created for me. And now I can type actions and start creating my list of stuff to do. I need to buy birthday cake, call friends and invite them, decorate home, and I need to buy a gift for my daughter. But in this case, I, I want to specify some details of this action. Click on options. I can choose a context. I'll choose a context errand. Context is a place or a tool that I can get this done. Errand is like on the go. And I need one hour to get it done. Let's save the task. I think I have all my tasks ready, so I'm going to close this. I need to edit this action. So I'm um, by birthday cake. I want it to be a chocolate cake. So what I do, I just click on the action and click on the name. Add chocolate cake. And that's it. And I'm going to also choose a context errand and set it for another hour. I think I'm going to, to buy the cake tomorrow. I can go ahead and type tomorrow. Or I can choose tomorrow from the calendar. As you can see, my actions are not in the right order. So I'm going to drag and drop them to reorder them. Move it here up, move this down, and now my list is good. As my first action is called friends, let me specify the friends that I have here. I'll just create a new note for that. So there it is, list of friends we want to invite, and let's go ahead and list them. So I have a list of my friends, and we'll see how it works in a second. Just click to save. And as you can see, my note is here, and I click on it. To every project, I, I can also attach a file, an idea for a gift for my daughter. Here's a nice one. There you go. So I have my file, my note, and my actions. As you can see, there is a bubble and a star here next to each action. Bubble, bubble can be used for comments. Let's add a comment to the gift. And save the comment. So, as you can see, I have here indication that I have one comment. And the star is for next actions. Let's choose call friends, my next action or my start action. And if I would have more projects here, in the next action section, I would have all my next actions from all of my projects in one place. So I could get them done here right away. A very useful thing is context. Uh, I can move around context here and uh, I can click on my errands. And as you can see, I have two errands to run. Buy a gift and buy a birthday chocolate cake. Errands context is very useful, especially if you can access Nosby on your mobile phone with the nosby.mobi website or with an latest iPhone app. As you can see, the buy birthday chocolate cake is scheduled for tomorrow. Let's check my calendar in Nosby. As you can see, um, that's all I have to do tomorrow, is to buy the cake. But um, let's do it on Saturday. I'll just reschedule this. And as you can see, the task has been rescheduled by just dragging and dropping it. If I want to see all of my projects at a glance, I can just click on Project. And now I can see the first three tasks from each of the projects. If I want to see more, I can do just that. If I want to move the tasks to different projects, I can do it as easily as everywhere. Now let's get back to our main project birthday party and let's start getting things done. Let's say I just called all of my friends. Market is done. As you can see, the completed tasks remain on the list until the end of the day. Tomorrow, they will be moved to complete actions. Why do they stay until the end of the day? 
it's a very rewarding experience and you can see at the end of the day what you've done what still needs doing thank you for watching this short video screencast showing how nosby works in the next episode i will showcase more advanced features like for example inviting people to share a project with them convert actions to projects and a lot more